Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about Volkswagen heads and buying used Volkswagen heads and what to look out for. Now what you see here is we've got our motor bench here and we do all of our motor repairs and rebuilding here and a guy popped me an email earlier this week in regards to what to look out for before buying used Volkswagen heads to rebuild my VW Beetle motor. So this is our little bench we got here at my shop and uh, we go do our inspecting here of our parts. We do our builds right here, building crank, building uh, the blocks and putting bearings in and whatnot and building heads. And some of the things you've got to look out for when it comes to buying used heads is this. So you go to a VW show, VW swap meet, and they got some vendors there that are selling used heads and uh, you think you need to pick these up for your motor. So most of the things that I look out for first is, right off the bat, just take a step back and take a look at the characteristics of the head. You know, many of the heads did change throughout the years and there's varying numbers uh, in the head that you gotta kind of match up and make sure they're the right heads, they, they match. Uh, but many times, you know, you'll see a head like this and it looks identical to this head over here okay but you got to look at some of the features around here where the spark plugs go in and where the bosses are here inside the head you know 40 horsepower heads actually had some changes in 65 where the boss changed here to a square boss and you had the studs that were just in the head and they didn't go through the head into the block so things changed throughout the years okay so you gotta gotta hone up on that either by getting a Bentley book or look uh, look on the Samba in the forums and you'll see what changes happened uh, 1500 to 1600 heads had little subtle changes okay so you don't want to buy this head and then you totally miss the characteristics of this head to say this head okay look at the difference so you have something like this where you have these small raised areas here on this head and then you got this square raised area around here okay so I've bought heads before where they look identical the guy the vendor made it made it sound like they came off one motor and they're identical heads and they actually weren't and then you get back and you can't use these heads on the same motor I mean I guess you could but you could have some issues but uh, some of the things I also look out for are of course the fins any of the fins are busted up you don't want any real busted up fins this is a cooling mechanism so a lot of times these are these break pretty easily I mean you can get away with one or two maybe busting off here but I really you know, I, I kind of shy away. I just try to find some other heads. There's so many out there that you can find. Try to find the per most perfect head if you could. Um, and then, you know, you got to watch out for your year motor. You know, this is a bigger intake here. So earlier intakes, 40 horsepower, 36 horsepower, 25 horsepower. They could have a smaller hole here. So again, you don't want, you got to match up your heads. You got to make sure you got the right sizes and all. Um, let me look at your studs. Make sure your studs aren't like really broken off and corroded and, and fused here and, and the threads are all, are all gummed up. Um, you know, take, take a look at that. You know, you just want to look for abuse. You know, you don't want something that's so abused. Okay, and one of the big things I look for is in the back here, any corrosion that you have going on inside here where the pistons go. You know, I mean, you just got to, where the jugs rest, you want to make sure that there's no major corrosion in here and then you also got to look in deeper and make sure you don't have any stress crack in between here where the valves uh, seat so um, that's one big issue I, I come across with, with many heads is that there's a crack in between here and if it starts if that crack goes into the, this area where the valves are um, it's probably want to shy away and probably buy something else and, and get away from this head uh, I usually see this crack in the 25 horse and 36 horsepower heads, 40 horsepower heads. It's so common to get that crack. I mean, uh, so you got to be careful. Um, like you have here, I'll show you this head. You know, this is got a little bit of, you know, gumming up going on here, but this could totally be cleaned up. You could take these valves out and, and recut them and, and reseat them and, you know, but always got to check if there's any crack in between these valves. Uh, it's a very common problem. Now, 1,500 to 1,600 heads, I mean, CIP1.com, JBugs.com, they are selling, uh, you know, rebuilt brand new heads um, for a few hundred bucks. And, you know, many times when you do buy a used head and you got to do guides, okay, you got to, um, 
you got to do valves, intake and exhaust valves. You got to cut the valves and lap the valves, and you know you have to, might have to do some machining to the head and whatnot because it's a used head. It's shown abuse over the years. By the time you go through that and take it to a machine shop. The final cost is sometimes just as much or if not more uh, than what you could buy them brand new. I know on, on uh, those websites it's very tough to get a German head. Um, they're mostly out of Mexico or Brazil or something. Uh, but just some things you have to factor in, that's all. So, uh, so big things are, like I said, I look for busting up fins. I look for the cracks between the valves. Uh, look for any stress cracks on the heads. Look at the studs, things like that. And make sure your, your heads match. Because you know, many times these guys are going to sell two heads together. They're not going to just sell one. Uh, but, um, you know, if you know your numbers and you know your characteristics of your heads, there's so much information on the Internet today to, to find out which, you know, heads work with what and, uh, and, and what characteristics they had throughout the year. So hone up on that and uh, you should be good to go. All right, guys, that's a quick tip. Uh, Chris is at ClassicBWBugs.com or, of course, my website, www.ClassicBWBugs.com. And take care.